Hello. Oh, sorry. Hi, guys, and welcome to We Film Things. It's Sunday night, and we are in our apartment studio, fully functional. Anyway, we've got a great little film for you guys that we want to share, and it's about a hotel that we went to, and it's also a bit of a hotel review. It's really cool. It's called the Hotel Gotham in Manchester. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do this. Welcome to someone's bedroom. This is very sexy. They are sexy hands. Oh, I think I know her. I, I definitely know her. <laughs> I know that actor from somewhere. <laughs> Where is she from? I know that face. But how did she get from the bedroom to the bar? That is the question. Oh my god. Is it some kind of mental relapse? What's that called? Flashback. <laughs> mental relapse. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Who are those guys? Are they gonna be in the room? It's snowing. It was snowing that night. It actually, it was, actually snowing. was really cold. Very cold. Mid February. I went out without a jacket on. In fact, this scene was very cold to film. This is you going out without a jacket on. Who knows who that is? Also, enjoy the footsteps that are currently. Happening. Is he gonna get hit by a car? Is he? Is he? Oh, he makes it. And this is the beautiful Ooh, hotel. That's Gotham. the hotel Gotham. That's the facade. As it's known in architectural terms. Intriguing commentary. And somebody is late. As usual. It's worth saying, you can never be late for the hotel of Gotham. Always on time. Can you hear some jazz? I've just got a little bit of a lady walking around with a drink. Alcoholic? <gasps> oh my god, she is an alcoholic! <laughs> she has a load of gold. <laughs> <laughs> an alcoholic with loads of gold. Where is this film going? She's an alcoholic. Look at her. She's trying to resist. That's this sick. was hard to film and awkward to film too. But this, it looks quite smooth actually. Look at those. Look at the barman's jackets though. They They're were well so dressed. Nice. Basically, they look like Balmain jackets. Those in the know will know what I'm talking about. And I've been looking for one of those. It feels like when you're at this bar, it feels like you're on the Titanic. And those barmen look after you. Found it about three times. Oh. And it's back to the next morning. Oh, it's a bit... What's going on? Does she regret what happened? Do you regret watching this film? What happened? <laughs> Do we, this See was a nice shower. shower. This was a very oh nice God, shower. This hotel had shower. the nicest shower. Mm. This was awkward to film as well because... Um, I had to cut the shot because of the reflection. Exactly, yep. because there's uh, reflective devices all around the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, we're back, we're back at the bar. And things have heated up. Or cooled down. Oh, that drink though. Is this the one? Now these drinks are out of, out of time for Look dramatic effect. This was the last one here. Look at this, he puts orange all over the thing and then there's actually chocolate dust all over the glass from the outside as well. It's so hor horrible to hold, yeah, but delicious to drink. Your fingers are covered in chocolate and it kind of adds to it, but also makes it a messy affair. What's this, your old fashioned? In fashion. So in this, fashion. this bar had a lot of twists on classic drinks and you can only get those drinks at this bar. Do you remember? Um, and so, and you, it's really hard to get membership to this bar. You can't go to this hotel to go to the bar. You have to be a resident of the hotel or you have to you have a membership to the bar. So you get interviewed to get the membership. And you get a giant chocolate button and you're in fashion. Oh, this was your porn star drink. Oh yeah, it's the their version of the porn star martini. I can't remember what Calendar it was. Calendar girl. Calendar girl. But so they put the champagne on the side, and it's actually nicer without the champagne in, because I had half of it without and half of it with with the champagne. And I just think they're nicer as two separate drinks, and that's what the barman recommended actually. That's that is it. And there's the champagne. Oh, on the side. I want to now. <laughs> oh, there's a oh. Morning. It's morning again. So, this is in the centre of Manchester, this hotel, and it has a really nice view of the city. But the city is kind of gritty, as they might say. Yeah, I mean, the Manchester skyline is kind of eclectic in the sense that you can look out and see it. Like, you've got your beautiful um, old buildings and then that horrid structure right behind <laughs> it. City um, tower is not nice. It's a perfect example. Oh, it's the next morning because Jack is flat ahead. 
<laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> Oh. I missed the lift. <laughs> well, he's missed his coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> that is the milkiest tea anyone will ever see. But I guys, don't my, judge me for it. I showed my mum that shot and she said, what is that? <laughs> I'm serious. She thinks you don't drink tea. She thinks you drink milky. If I could milky just water, put a tea bag in milk, that, that would be my ideal. So breakfast, what did you think of breakfast? I think the breakfast was underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. I loved everything about the hotel. Mm, I thought breakfast was good. Did you? I I just anyway, thought. Anyway, this is the room now. Yeah, the room was beautiful. Oh god, the room was amazing. The room had a hand with random binoculars on, and I appreciate that in a hotel room. Also, it had the Great Gatsby next to the bed. So if you do have a boring night, you can just read the Great Gatsby. <laughs> yeah, it had some good books in there. A little bit of something for everyone. You're just showing me around your room, are you? This is naive. This is this is fine. Just show me some chains. Oh, wait. <laughs> Have you been watching 50... No. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right there. Just getting the chains ready. Mm. Oh, more drinks. <gasps> Saucy. Also, can I just point out the uh, unicorn socks? All right, well, uh, so that was the take. That was the, that was our t night at the Gotham Hotel. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> yeah, j so Jack got um, the stay at the Gotham Hotel for his birthday, or we both got it for his birthday. Perks of going out with this one. <laughs> Perks of going out with a baller. <laughs> the um, uh, yeah, but it was it was so beautiful. We loved the stay. The bar was fantastic. We had such a good time. Um, and we, sh we just wish we could have spent more time there, really. We vowed. So this hotel was so good. It's definitely the best hotel I've ever been to. But we vowed that we will go back to Gotham once every year for my birthday from now on. Because it was that good. It was that good. So. I, I had a good time. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Mum. We had an awesome time. And thank you guys for watching this video. Yeah, leave us a comment below. And... Give it a like if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends.